In this video, you will learn how to replace values in multiple columns at once. You will learn it for replacing it with the same value, but I'll also show you a way on how you can conditionally replace the values in multiple columns. Replacing values is something that most people do at some point in their Power Query exercises. So let's say this is the data set we're looking at. It contains consumers, restaurants, and the ratings that a restaurant have got. At this point, we can see that there's ratings between one and 10. Because the data is skewed and people tend to give very low scores if they're not so happy, uh, the manager has decided that the lowest rating he wants to see is five. So let's have a look first. If we wanna replace values in multiple columns at once, how does that work? First of all, if you do it in a single column, you could replace a one by a five, like this. So for example, here on line 19, this one went to a five. Easy enough. If you wanna do that for all these three columns, you can just click on one, hold your shift button, click on the last one that you wanna do, right click, replace values, and you can do the same thing. You replace a one with a five. And over here in the top, you can now see that this part of the formula here includes all of the column names that you need. So in this way, the regular replacing values in multiple columns is relatively easy. Okay, let's, let's see if we remember how we can conditionally replace a value. So first of all, on a single column, you could say replace values. And as a placeholder, we could say we're going to replace one by five. And to conditionally replace this, you can check out one of my other videos. We have to adjust this. And as a first argument, you write each overall rating and we're going to replace that with each if the overall rating we're going to check if it's uh, lower than five and then i wanted to return five else i just wanted to return the overall rating so this is how you can conditionally replace a value in a single column so as you can see now we only have five up to ten Easy enough. Now, what happens if we want to apply this to all of our columns right here? The problem is out here, we're hard coding the column name. So even if I wanted to, I could say replace the value here and also see what the ratings are for. Let's see, there is a food rating. So we could play something like food rating. And that has not changed anything. So we have overall rating here and that one changes, but the food rating does not change. And the reason for that is that is not included in this part here. Now I've experimented and tried all kinds of stuff, but even providing all of the columns in a list, it doesn't really help in replacing. If you guys have any suggestions on how to do that with this method, let me know, I'd love to learn. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a different method on how we can do these conditional replacements, but then on multiple columns. Okay, so this is what the starting position was. And to fix this, we're going to select the first two uh, columns that are not the ones that we need to replace in. And what you can do is then right click, click on unpivot other columns. And this will make sure that the other columns are actually transformed into uh, a single column with values and one with the descriptions. After that, we can start to replace the values again. Same thing as before. So as a first argument, we write each but then value. And as a second argument, we write each value. If that value is smaller than five, and then give us five, else give us the value. And I can put this on the next line. So what we see now is that the condition has been applied and what's left to do is you need to pivot this attribute column to make sure that this column, its values are moved to the, to the columns again. So you can click on it, attribute, go to the transform tab, click on pivot this column and the values column that we wanna move is the column that's called value. Now you press okay. And by doing this, all of these columns now have a version of the replaced part that we just mentioned. Now, as you can see, only the data types have been changed. 
So it would be quite bothersome to keep on changing the values, even though we already had a step right here. So we can automate that and get back the values of the earlier step by going to a new step. And you can write value replace type. So the first argument is the previous step, which is pivoted column. And as a second argument, you write value type. And now you reference the step where the, the value types were still okay. So at the change type step, we already did this. And we close the parenthesis. And by doing this, uh, we have replaced values conditionally on multiple columns. And we have also returned the value, uh, the value types or the data types in the last tab. So how was that for you? Quite some, uh, some tricks to replace values conditionally on multiple columns and also some ways to take a single value and replace all of those in the columns that you find. I'm curious if you do this in a different way. If so, let me know in the, uh, in the comments below. And if this uh, was anything new for you, if you learned something, I'd appreciate a big, uh, a big like below. And uh, then I hope to see you in the next video.